In this section, we are going to discuss how to answer a basic essay question. The first step is to identify the keywords in the question. These are the task, content, and limiting words. Task words tell you what to do. For example, to compare, to discuss, to critically evaluate, to explain, and so on. The content words in the essay topic will tell you which ideas and concepts should form the knowledge base of the assignment. These may be subject specific ideas or themes. Limiting words. These words will help you limit the scope of your assignments so that you only discuss those aspects of the topic that have been asked for. In this example question, we can see that discuss is the task word, a barrier to communication is the content, and an office environment is the limiting word. Let's look at some direction words and what they mean. Summarize means to describe something closely. Explains means to make clear the details of something. It is important to understand what you are being asked to do in each question, so it may help to look up the meaning of task words before you begin. In this list, you can see some of the most common task words that are used in academic assignments. Once you have understood the question, it is time to plan the essay. When you first begin writing, it is a very important step to complete. First, you need to plan how you will set the context, by selecting some useful background information which will also make your purpose clear. Then you should write a draft thesis statement. A thesis statement very clearly explains your purpose and direction. If you are unclear on how to structure a paragraph or write a thesis statement, you should review our video introduction to essay writing. Next, plan the topic sentence for each paragraph, including supporting sentence ideas and the evidence with references that you will use. Next, plan the summary statement and write a concluding statement which will reinforce your key message. Let's have a look at this basic essay to help us understand essay structure. In the first paragraph, which is the introductory paragraph, we can see that there is a topic introduced in the first line, followed by some context in the second line. And the last sentence is a very clear thesis statement. In the two example body paragraphs, you can see they both also have a topic sentence which explains the main point of the paragraph. They both have supporting statements which gives further evidence or argument to the topic and they have very clear evidence in the form of references. In order to do this well, it can be helpful to plan all the main ideas before you begin writing, including the supporting ideas for each paragraph. This should include the examples and references also. In this way, you will know how you will support all of your ideas before you begin writing the first draft. Here you can clearly see background information and thesis statement, and here you can see a clear topic sentence with supporting evidence. What's next? After you have gathered your background information, chosen the quotes and the data that you will use, planned a basic essay structure and planned a basic paragraph structure, you must plan the language that you will use. The plan that you make should include academic language, sequences, connectors, transitions, and comparatives. You should note that in academic writing we do not refer to ourselves this is because it is the idea or argument supported by evidence which is important, not an opinion. Therefore, you should not use any personal language, such as the examples on the left of the screen. Instead, use phrases that refer to evidence, such as those on the right of the screen. You should also plan to use sequencing words in your writing. These words are also known as signals or signposts and guide the reader through an argument. These words show the reader that you have a logical progression of ideas in your argument. Connectors have a similar use as sequences and help to connect the ideas of the essay together. Think of them as the threads that hold the pieces together. Connectors used well can make an essay very easy and enjoyable to read. Essays that use connectors badly are often hard to read with ideas that don't really fit together. This affects the readability, but also the logic and reasoning of argument, which may in turn lead to a poor task response score. Another type of signal words are called transitions. These words add emphasis to your writing by expressing your intention to your reader. 
For example, if you wish to amplify or expand on a point, you could use a transition such as, for example, for instance, such as, and so on. Using these words informs the reader of your intent and strengthens the persuasiveness of your argument. These transition words encapsulate your intent and make the logic of your argument easier to follow. Another example of signal words are comparatives. These are used to compare ideas or arguments and can be used to emphasize similarity or differences. After you have written your essay plan, you should fill in the signpost words that you wish to use in each paragraph. Doing this will help you to think about how you are structuring your argument and what you are trying to say. Here you can see that the writer has added some key transition words or signposts to the sections of the essay plan. One of the first things you should do before you begin any assessment is to access your subject site on LearnJCU. Download your subject outline or assignment descriptor. Do all your background reading and then start writing an essay plan.